Data Video How-To Tutorials. Stinger transitions use an animation instead of a fade or cut to transition between the preview and program output. Did you know that the Data Video SE1200 and SE650 come pre-loaded with nine different Stinger transitions and that you could also add your own? We will show you how to use the Stinger transitions included with your Data Video Switcher and how to import your own custom Stinger in this tutorial. First, we will show you how to use one of the included Stinger transitions in your production. Press Menu on the control panel of your switcher. Use the up and down arrow key to scroll to User Memories and press Enter. Go to Load Clip and select Clip. Now you can use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through different Stinger transition options. Here is what each Stinger transition looks like. Choose the Stinger transition you would like to use by pressing Enter, then select Load Clip and select Yes. Press the menu key to go back to your multi-view. You will see the Stinger transition loading in your preview window. Your Stinger transition will be loaded and stored into Still 2. When it is finished loading, go to the Transitions button group on your control panel. Make sure Transition Background is selected. Mix and Wipe also need to be selected. To do this, press both Mix and Wipe at the same time. To change your Stinger transition, go back into the menu, select User Memories, and load a new Stinger transition. This will replace your preview Stinger transition stored in Still 2. Press Auto Transition to use the animated Stinger transition. You can use Cut the same as you would before. You could import your own custom Stinger transitions using the Data Video Switcher Image Import Export software. You can check the links in the description below for where to find templates and make your own custom Stinger transition. Your Stinger needs to be formatted as a PNG sequence, one second in length and 60 frames per second. One way to make a custom Stinger is in Adobe After Effects CC. In this example, we have a Stinger transition with the Data Video logo. It is finished and ready to export into a format compatible with your Data Video Switcher. To do this in After Effects CC, first select File, Export, then Add to Render Queue. Set the Output Module to have RGB plus Alpha Channels and set the format to PNG sequence. Output to a thumb drive or other location accessible to the computer you will connect to your switcher. The sequence will be exported as 60 PNG frames into a folder. Click Save and then click Render to begin the export. Connect your PC computer to your SE1200 or SE650 switcher using an Ethernet cable. Then open the Data Video Switcher Image Import Export software. Confirm you are connected, then click Import Export. Next, select Import Clip and select a clip memory number to save it to. This switcher only has the nine Stinger transitions and number 10 is free. Press Enter when you are ready. Next, select Import Clip. In your directory, find the folder with the Stinger transition and select the first frame of the PNG sequence. Click Open. Now your switcher will convert the file and import it into your switcher. This may take a couple of minutes. When it is finished, you will see it saved in the clip memory on your software. To use this new Stinger in your production, go to the control panel of your switcher, press Menu, select User Memories, and load the new clip. It will save in Still 2 and you can use it in your production. 
Check the links in the description below for more tutorials and useful articles to get the most out of your Data Video Switcher. For the latest from Data Video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.